Zach. Zach, okay. Oh, I'm Jonathan. Nice to meet you. Have you? Leland. My name's Leland Melvin. Okay. Um, I was wondering, did you plan on becoming an astronaut when you were a child, or did that come later on in life? I did not plan on becoming an astronaut as a child. I didn't know what I wanted to do as a child. I loved it. So I was led to the astronaut corps based on the things that I loved to do, I did, but I didn't know it at the time. And so I thought I was going to be a chemistry. At first, I thought I was going to be a doctor because my parents wanted me to be a doctor. They said, we need good doctors back in Lynchburg. And I went to college, and that wasn't really for me. I loved chemistry because I had a chemistry set when I was a kid. And then uh, as I became uh, more interested in like math and physics, I thought engineering might be something I wanted to do with my life. So after college, I went to grad school in material science engineering. Mm -hmm. And um, what motivated you as, you know, to go on even though you failed, you know? Mm -hmm. you do, like, what motivated you to become what you are now? I think um, a lot of what motivated me, I've, I've always been a person who liked to try new things, liked to do new things, and my parents always instilled in me never to give up and to keep, keep trying and keep going. So, uh, you know, we have this motto in Houston, failure is not an option. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's something that you just, as an individual, if you, if you are raised in a way that you know that you can do anything you put your mind to, even if you don't know what that is, but you know that you can do it, then once you figure out what it is, you just go for it and you make it happen. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so you were about to be an NFL star, but you couldn't quite make it because you had an injury. Mm -hmm. um, how was it to change your lifestyle from you're ready to be a star and then um, when you couldn't make it, how did it? How did that feel? Well, I mean, when I first started, started with football, it was. Remember, I was a wide receiver in high school, on a running team, so I never really saw the ball that much. So I never really even saw myself as being a college football player, more or less a professional football player. But things just have a tendency of happening. You kind of led to certain places, and uh, so when that opportunity came up. I went for it, but it wasn't something that I always thought I was going to do. So when I was injured, injured, I didn't get crushed and say, oh, this is my dream. This is always what I wanted to do. So I was able to then transition to being an engineer or scientist very easily. You know, I had a shot. I tried it. I gave it my best, but that didn't work out. So then I got the, the fallback plan, which was education. Okay, and my other question was, if um, you received the key to your city, what exactly does that mean, and how did you earn it? I think, uh, I, you know, initially I thought you have the key to the city, you can open anyone, anyone's yeah, door, you know, and walk around and take anything you want. But uh, what it is, it's an honor given by the mayor of the city, saying that the, the, your efforts, your, you know, becoming an astronaut, become an astronaut, so the dis discipline, the dedication to science and mathematics, and, and also to outreach to helping you know, students see that they have options besides just sports was something that he saw in me that would be worthy of getting in honor of what they call the key to the city. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what important messages do you have to the youth in this generation? I think the most important message for, for the youth are that we have so many people whose, whose values are based on you know, sports and music videos and rap and, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but the, don't get your values, you know, so skewed that education is not your, your biggest, your biggest value. And, um, and then also I would like to tell the youth today that there's too much fighting, there's too much, you know, people carrying guns to school, shooting, drugs, all these things, it's just, it's just very negative and, and it's going to bring you down. So. Try to live a clean life, try to do the right thing, have a strong character. If someone tries to, to make you do something to change you, don't let them change your attitude. You stay strong, you believe in yourself. Just because there's peer pressure, there's someone trying to influence you to do something that you know in your heart is not right to do. Don't just do it because someone else is doing it, trying to be cool. You can be yourself and be just as cool being who you are as a person without having to listen or, or follow be a follower. Yeah. And um, when you went to space, uh, did you go to like a whole other planet or did you just orbit around the world? Yeah, we just orbited around the world. Right now, 
with the space program, our flights are up to about 240 miles up, which is in what we call low Earth orbit LEO. And that's where the space station hangs out. To go a little bit higher is where the space, uh, Hubble Space Telescope is, is about 300 miles up. And then there are communication satellites that are much higher. But humans right now only go 200, 240 to 300. If we go back to the moon, that's 240,000 miles away. So we haven't been to any planets yet. We've just been to the moon. And if we were to go to Mars, which would be the closest, it would be 6 million miles. So that's quite a big jump from 240 to 6 million. But we need, to, we need you guys right here. We need your brains, need you in the pipeline to be the ones that are developing the technology, the propulsion systems. And I'm telling you, look at yourself. See what it takes for you to be in this blue flight suit. You guys heard tonight my path to getting here. But you figure out your path into what you want to do to be the next generation of people. You know, President Obama, you know, who's going to be the next black president? Who's going to be the next leader going to Mars? Who's going to be, you know, just picture yourself in those roles. And then you fill in the blocks and figure out how to get there to help change the world. Because there's enough drama in the world as it is right now. And we don't need to contribute to that drama. We need to distill the drama and, and bring on the positive. All right. Thank you for answering. Very, very proud of you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.